Grade 6 Math, number 12.9c. This is More Help, Part 3, Perimeter and Area of Composite Figures. So here's our formulas. If you saw the last two videos, 12.9 and 12.9b, the area formula for a square is s squared. That's side times side. For a rectangle, it's the length times the width. For a triangle, it's half the base times the height. And for a circle, it's pi times radius times radius. And you have to remember that the circle circumference formula is the circumference is pi times the diameter. Okay? And we've been working with figures that have more than one figure in them. They're composites. There's more than one. It's composed of several shapes. So sometimes we need to use more than one formula to find an area or perimeter. We create lines, like my dotted line here, to help us complete the figures to find the area. And the diameter of the semicircle must be 6 because the opposite side is 10 and it's partially 4. So this must be a diameter of 6, see? So that would be a radius of half of it, which would be 3, right? So we need to think and figure this out, okay? So, this is the shape we're dealing with, all right? To find the area and perimeter of this shape, we need four formulae. Formulas, it's the same thing, okay? We need the area of a rectangle. We need the area of a triangle. We need the area of a circle, which we then have to cut in half, right? And we need the circumference of the circle, which we then need to cut in half to find the perimeter. So we know this is 10 and this is 5. So the area of this rectangle is 10 times 5. It's length times width. It's 50. For the triangle, if this is 5, then we know this is 5, right? Because a rectangle has identical sides, right? They're congruent. So we know that the base is 4 and the height is 5. So we do the 4 times 5 and get 20. We multiply that by a half, and we know that the area of this triangle is 10. For the half circle, there's a little bit more work, but it's still not really that hard. We have to do pi r squared, and then we need to divide it by 2 because it's a half circle. See? 3.14 times the 3-inch radius, that's 3 times 3, would give us 3.14 times 9. That comes out to 28.26. Now, we still need to divide it in half because it's only a half circle. It's not a full circle. The 28.626 would be for a full circle. We cut it in half and get 14.13. So that's the area of that semicircle. Now we need to add the 50, the 10, and the 14.13. And we get 74.13. And actually, because we used pi... This is an approximation, isn't it? See? Because pi is this really, really long decimal that just doesn't seem to end. So, this is not an exact number. Because we didn't use all the numbers of pi in the answer. We only use a rounded number, so that's an approximate. Okay? So now we've got the area, but we still need to find the perimeter. Now, we could easily do it with these shapes here, but when we get to the half circle, ah, we need to do circumference, and then we're going to have to cut it in half because it's a half circle. So to find the total perimeter, we need to find the circumference of the orange circle and divide that by 2 because it's a semicircle. So that's the formula for the circumference of a circle. So that's what we need to do. We need to divide it by 2 because it's a semicircle. 3.14 times 6, remember we figured it has to be 6, over 2 to divide it by 2. 3.14 times 6 is 18.84. Now we need to cut it in half because it's a half circle. 18.84 is 9.42 when it's cut in half. So now we know that is the perimeter of just that half circle because it's the circumference, it's the perimeter. We add the 9.42, and then we add the 4, the 5, the 6, the other 4, the other 6, and we total it all up, and we get 38.42 for the
for the total perimeter of the figure. So now we've got the total area, 74.13, and the total perimeter, 38.42. Now the one thing you have to remember is, because this is a dotted line, you don't count the 6 in here, okay? We already did length times width, 10 times 5 for the rectangle. So this isn't important except for concerning the half circle, okay? To find its area and its perimeter. After that, we don't need it. So don't include this 6 into part of the perimeter because it's not. This is the outside part. Perimeter is the outside, remember? All right. So that is part three, perimeter and area of composite figures. I promise there's not going to be a part four. It's just that I really felt we needed to dig into this topic to really explain it. And I'll see you at 12.10. We're almost finished with this chapter. I'll see you there. Bye.